Okay, so I've just literally finished popping those 30 mil barrels through. I haven't done anything to it yet, but I know this step, next stage is the bit a lot of people struggle with. So what I would do now is throw my head upside down. I would do this even if I'd just use the barrels all over. Um, so whether you've got natural curly hair or not, this is how I finish. So I usually just get my hair to exactly where I want it. Sometimes, like I said, I need a little bit of product once I've finished. If I do, it would be something like the one minute transformation. So I'll just pop a tiny bit of that through. Get near the end of that one as well. So not a lot, you don't need too much. In fact, I'll just take a bit of that off. So I'm just gonna literally pat through those ends, just where it, I get a little bit of fluffiness on that side where it's quite highly colored and anywhere that looks might, like it might go a bit fluffy. So you can see my curls underneath have started to blend with the curls that I did through the top. So just pull those through with that product once you've worked it in. Don't be afraid of the one minute transformation. It's not sticky, just about the size of a pea really. Okay, so that's pretty much what I do there. Always check the back, make sure I've not got any any gaps in it, and make sure those curls are sitting on top of your own. And then sometimes I'll switch the parting around. It depends. So at the moment it's pretty much on the side. I'm going to have my visor and my goggles on all day, so I'll probably keep it off my face quite a bit. So this is the bit where you get your your desired finished result. So this is the important bit. So I'm going to use some Paul Mitchell Freeze and Shine, which I absolutely love. It's water soluble, it stays in all day, and it just washes out lovely. So I get my hair to where I want it. I want a nice bit of lift in the crown. So I'm just going to hold the spray away from it a bit, but don't touch it then. Just let that set. So you get that lift in the crown. Just fiddle a bit with how you want it to look and then just spray all over that but the key with this is don't mess with it too much once you've sprayed so that's why you need to get it to where you want it first and let that settle it'll look a bit big when you're doing it don't worry about that because it will drop and once it's dried you can mess with it a bit more and then get this side how you want it and then don't forget to check the back again because we always end up with a gap usually down the middle there's nothing worse than seeing that that's pretty much it so i'll let that settle a bit we'll probably break that fringe up just a touch might just do that now if your curls look like they're dropping out they won't be just twiddle them back in Just give it another spray and then just leave it, leave it to set. That's it.